Hey guys, my name is Sediak and welcome back to another episode of The Tenants where guys, last episode we finally completed that goal. That one that had evaded us for so long and that was to get a $10,000 or should I say over $10,000 rent coming from one of our properties. Now, um, it took a while. We got there, but there's actually been an update since last episode in the game. And the update is not a content update. They've done a bunch of bug fixes, but they've one of the things caught my attention, and it's kind of made me so freaking annoyed right now. And that is within this update, they've reduced the average price of a house of a property by twenty percent. Just let that sink in right now. All this time, your boy's been struggling for money, and they they, they kind of um, attributed to the fact that there was a, a slight bug. In the calculation of house prices. So all this time your boy's been playing this game. And house prices have been ridiculous. I mean they're still kind of low-key ridiculous. Don't get me wrong. But they're 20% cheaper on average. Now they're still expensive. But this is the suburbs. Don't get me wrong. But like you know. There's the sl slightly a little bit more affordable. Now I want to go to the slums. Because today. Right, I actually learned last episode that some of the properties are unavailable. Let me see if I can find one here. Like, this one is currently unavailable because it, we don't meet the requirements for sale, which means that there is certain jobs and tasks that I need to do to be able to unlock, for example, this property. Now, there's a bunch of jobs that I don't technically like to do. I don't like finding tenants. Some jobs I skip. And you've got to get the best score out of them, I assume, to kind of unlock it. So what are we going to do? Is we're gonna head back to the slums. Oh, we can't can't actually switch to the slums because I don't have an agent just yet. I completely forgot I got rid of my agent over here. Right, manage. Oh no, that's no back, Sadiac. Suburbs. Uh, um, do, do we go? Oh, right, I'm gonna go. Oh my goodness me, my phone is buzzing. But it's nothing important. Sweet. Bam. There we go. Get out of here, boys. So we actually do have a goal right now, and I think it's to kind of have the average happiness of our tenants over like 80 or something like that. But that's a progression kind of goal where you have to do it for so long. So it's just a, a case of biding our time and eventually waiting for that to uh, eventually unlock. But mainly, going to make sure uh, we keep all of our residents uh, pretty happy. So back in the slums then, where I expect my phone to freaking blow up right now. But what are the property prices over here look like? 216. See, that's not too bad. That's bad. That was 900,000 though. Don't get me wrong. It was 900,000. So, I mean, they're still expensive. Don't get me wrong. They're still expensive. But it's like, it's not as ridiculous as it once was. They're prices that I... 109... They're prices that I can get on board of. Yes, please. But anyway, I ain't got money to be buying properties just yet. We need to take a look at some of the jobs. So... We've got to complete these to the best of my ability. Like, for the longest time, I've been wanting to get this, but the unlock requirements um, are not met. That's what your boy's got to sort out. So, we're going to go through all these jobs then. So, we've got here a noisy tenant who looking for a headache. Okay, we'll get that done. But here, Lost Creek Road. We don't know what this is, so I'm going to select Lost Creek Road right now. We're going to jump on over there, and we're going to try and get as much of this stuff done as possible. So... For this, then, they require someone on the age of... No, 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 yeah, of 31 and 58. Okay, okay. Four days remaining. Number of guests viewing. Sweet. So, what are people are saying, then? What are people saying? So, 33, you fall within that category. 44, so do you. 39, so do you. So, the, all of these peeps right now fall within the category of being able to get a tenancy in this building. So if I don't fast forward then and wait for someone to actually like fall in love with the place. That's pretty much what I'm waiting for. So this person over here is on a good terms at the moment. Let's see if I can get him to like exceptional. He's a whoa. Uh, she's like, eh, it's fine. It's not the best place. But we'll keep pushing. There, there we go. That is what we were waiting for right now. So I could do a tenancy check and I could do a background check. And we can negotiate for 120 days. So we get that stuff coming in. I don't really want to check it as... What? Um, Why is somebody getting this type of money in, in, in the slums? 
Make an offer. Make offer. I'll accept. That's ridiculous money! Have they increased rental prices by 20% or something? <laughs> Holy moly! Right, we're going to send in a pro to get that sorted. Um, I've got to do some negotiations over here as well. Which I'm going to let the tenant kind of leave. And then we'll kind of go back through it and see what we can get done to kind of, uh, you know, improve that. Uh, just take a minute for this. Oh, damn! That's a nice theme of stuff right there. We can create a club. <laughs> I like it. So here's the criminal record stuff. Oh, that. Okay. Maybe I should have checked this stuff. <laughs> Maybe I should have checked this stuff. But it's not my tenant. Is it? It's not my tenant right now. Like, Leave me alone. Leave me alone. Uh, right. So I need, you've got, I've got to figure out where some of this stuff is. A lot of the stuff right now that is not for sale is because I haven't unlocked it. So we've got to keep going through it. So next then, let's take a look at this then. So to create a new bathroom, we've got interior design is needed for a, a complete office makeover. So we're going to pretty much push these jobs to ultimate boundaries. Right, uh, cut them some slack. I want these tenants on good terms so I complete this goal. And uh, let's sort this out then. So we've got to go above and beyond then to try and get the best of the best out of this stuff and try and get that lucrative five-star rate in to unlock those houses. Right. That is all I needed him to do. Great job, Uncle. Great job as always. Top dude. Top dude. Right, so they want me to do a bedroom, an office, and a bathroom. So obviously, this is going to be the bathroom here. Uh, we'll get rid of the, or move, should I say, the um, the radiator. So, oh, no, wrong buttons. Bathroom, so walls are brown. How much have we got? 12,000. Okay. Uh, laminate wooden flooring. There we go. So I want this shower cabin. There we go. They want a toilet, which will kind of go a little bit easy. Oh, damn. That's a little bit of lag, wasn't it? A, a bathroom sink. There we go. They want a nice little mirror. Way too big, that one. Nice. Uh, toilet brush, we'll throw just here. Toilet paper, of course, we'll throw just there. Does it block the shower? No. We're all good. Bit of a plunger. In in re in arm's length. All right, we reposition it. In arm's length, because you know you're going to get those big doo-doos then. And then drop you there. Um, send in a pro. Leave your boy alone. So the bathroom's done there, but again, there's so much more stuff I can add to it, but by decor, it's 100% for the clients anyway. Uh, right, bedroom. Mm. Okay, we'll make this the bedroom, and then we'll do this as the office. So walls are red. Violets are blue. Your boy can't select the wallpaper. Oh, no, that did not rhyme. All right, double, double bed. <laughs> double bed thrown in. Nice, beautiful wall plant. We'll get to the side of the bed. Uh, a wall shelf. I'll get this. No. How much have I got remaining? 6,000 just up here. Which we can throw some books on top of. Get a nice refrigerator in here. Uh, my uh, kitchen cabinet. Oh, should I get the, the new kind of club style one? Is that like really expensive? It's the most expensive ones we've got. And then drop a little a Mico wave on top. So that's all that's needed, but there could be so much more added to this. So in the decor side of things, we'll get like a, a large plant in. Truly really boost the environment. Uh, we'll get a small plant in. We've got a wall plant in. Yeah, I'll just put it by the bedside. There we go. <laughs> um, okay, so these are lower medium. So medium, small decoration, which is always a Rubik's Cubics. A vase of vase. A lot of you guys are kind of like... Laughing at the way I pronounce vase. Like, what's a vase, Sediac? It, it, it's it's how the British pronounce it, all right? All right. L leave me alone. Leave your boy alone. Right, I've got a little bit of money to kind of play around with adding in like a little wardrobe. It is a bedroom item. And then we get a little bedside table, even though we don't really have the room for it. Even unless I move the plant. Which in then decoration, I can squeeze in the Rubik's Cubics. 
Uh, there we go. So, oh, hang on. I need to make sure that I'm not spending too much money to a point where I've run out of funds to build the office side of it. So, one, two. Desk chair. Boom, boom. Laptops. Uh, small decoration. Another Rubik's Cube. Shelf. Right, let's throw this just over here. Uh, we need a cabinet, which will go with just one like this. Can I spin that just there? It's very dark, isn't it? It's very dark. A wall clock, which I believe the bedroom could have done with one as well. Throw you, oh, throw you just there. Um, okay, not much money remaining. And as you can see, I ran out of money. So, okay, maybe I delete this. There we go. Walls are grey. Okay. Right, the whole place is done. Preferred furniture. Video games console. Now, have I got enough to squeeze a video games console in? That is the real question, boys. It's in the living room. Video games. Yes, I have. Which I'll just squeeze it just there. Nice. So, deliver the job then. Don't really have much money remaining. I think we lost the tenant over on Beach Road. Oh, we've actually got Ferry Street to do as well. Okay, we'll get over to there and sort these places out. So, begin the renovations then. We've jam-packed these as much as possible. You can see from this room right now, stuff that we could potentially add in to bulk it all up. Actually, what is, what is the whole property? 95. We, we can definitely increase this right now after everything that we've learned recently. Your boy's been on a journey, guys. Your boy's been a legit on a journey. So we get the wall plants in, which can be squeezed just there. What else is needed? Wall plants, small plant, which we've got in, and a big plant, which we can't squeeze in. Small decoration, which would be, again, I like to throw in a Rubik's Cube because they're nice and easy to get in. Wall decor, which would then be the calendar. Again, easy enough. Uh, a painting, which we don't have. I've got it just there. And then a picture, which... Is that classed as a picture? I don't think it is. It probably, I think it's more of a poster. But a picture is like that. The trophy. There. Cabinet, cabinet, shelf, wall shelf. So yeah, it gets pretty difficult to get the rest in. So from 98 to 120. That's not bad. That's real good. Then we've got the bathroom over here, which is currently a 131. Stuff in what we can do to kind of improve it. We've got the mirror in. Uh, we don't have a towel rack. Now, how easy would it be to squeeze a towel rack in? Fairly easy. It goes up there. So that puts it then to a 141. We've added in an extra bump up. So a laundry basket. Mm, that's really pushing it now, isn't it? I'm not going to be able to get a laundry basket in. Oh, actually, do you know what? I might be able to. No. Okay. Sell you. It's more wool stuff that you kind of want. Um, oh, a rug and a doormat. Of course. Oh, well, what happened? It kind of just kicked me out of, of renovating this. What, what are you doing? What are you doing, game? Um, right. Little doormat and a, the, the world's tidiest rug. Yeah, we ain't squeezing a little rug in here, are we? No. There we go. Um, okay, so it's 147. That's good. Okay, we pumped that really high. Then this place right now, which is a 201. Holy smokes. But there's still room for improvements. That's the crazy thing about this. So if I then implemented in, like, everywhere else, the hanging... Right, there's definitely room for this. I just got to move that over. There we go. A vase, vase. Is there a fruit down there? That's all low stuff. Oh, this is all the high stuff, which you put like fire extinguisher. I always forget about the fire extinguisher that I can add a lot onto us. But again, where do I throw it in? There should work. So from 201 to 213, 
I ain't going to get it any better than that. So it was originally 93, this whole property. It's now 108. We'll, we'll go with that. So begin at the open house event right now. And hopefully get someone um, pretty decent living here. And we've got a few other properties that we need to kind of um, sort out as well. Please fall in love. She says it's fine. Don't need to do a background check. Have I already had this person as a, as a tenant before in the past? Mm. So is anyone really like, damn, Sunny Act, this place is amazing. All right, she's unsatisfied, so I'll ask her to leave. Oh, he thinks he's good. Come on, dude. You want a bit extra, right? You want you you want a hundred percent fall in love with this. All right, he's still on good terms. Shall I uh get some reviews coming in? What's he gonna say? There we go, exceptional. That's all I needed. 120 days. We'll try and get top dollar for this boy. Coming at two grand. Holy moly. Right, accept that. Is that the most amount of money I've ever had for that property? I think it is. Breaking records, boys. Breaking all the records. So we've got that a vacancy over at the lake. Of course we have. How much am I now kind of pretty much making? Um, yeah, sure, why not? All right, let me just quickly get through these. Because I feel like this update has, might, has maybe slightly changed how much you can make from rent money. We'll see what happens when we've kind of done it all. Right. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. So, what property did I recently rent it, um, do? Oh, I don't know. I'm losing track. I'm losing track. But if I go to Ferry Street then, which again is a fairly decent property that we've had set up. So oh, I, I always got to check what it is beforehand, sorry. 120. So the bedroom, uh, 104. So high is the usual suspects. On some nice big plant. We've got a wall plant. We need a small plant, which we've got over there. Medium, small decoration. Again, Rubik's Cube. Uh, wall decor. Painting, picture. Yeah, usual suspects. We should know by now, shouldn't we? We should absolutely know by now. All right, painting. There we go. Cabinet wall shelf. Uh, okay, so that's gone from 104 to 116. Not really going to break many records of that. Bathroom's 153. That's good. Kitchen, 207. So where does that average out then? 124. See, that's, a, that's good. That's real good. So begin an open house on this place. See what we can get done over here. So good straight away. All right. Oh, he's exceptional. So bang both of them out. Yeah. Negotiate. 120 days. Let's get it going, boys. Oh, we're coming in low ball off of the right there, isn't he? Right, one more time. I'll accept it. Not going to argue too much because obviously I'm trying to get the money coming in. And then we've got three more properties. Holy smokes. These guys don't give up over here. It's like my agent doesn't do any work. Right, Boring Lane, our original property. Right. Oh, I keep forgetting to check it. Um, it is a 104. I reckon we can bump this up quite a bit too. So, bedroom... 135, kitchen, 14, blah, blah, bathroom, yeah. So, little areas that we need small improvements on. So, let's always start with the furniture then. And it's mainly like, um, you know, additional wall decor. We've got a small plant, which will be handy to get it in. We need a big plant in here as well to bump this up. Replace it just, oh no, it blocks the, the rad. 
There we go, squeeze you in just there. A uh, little bit of a mat here for the bathroom is always a good one. Then a little rug in here. Just, just small things to improve it. And without me doing anything right now, that's taken us up to 108. We'll go with that. We'll go with that. I want to get back to doing all the jobs. But as long as I can take care of the money. Gucci. Exceptional straight away. Wow. Make offer. Make offer. Make offer. Over five grand? I'll take it. I'll take the over five big ones. So next then, two more vacancies. Passiac Street, which this property is 93. So this, definitely want to get this over 100. So this bedroom is 183. So that's good. There's a room here letting us down. 140. It's this room here, isn't it? Living room. No. Mm. We've bumped this up as much as we can, haven't we? And we're still only getting that. Um, it's asking for a motivational poster in here. Where's the mo where's the posters? There we go. So from one forty to one forty-two. Got all the kitchen appliances in. No fire extinguisher though. Very important these days that we've now discovered. So one four two to one four three. Yeah, not doing anything in there. Living room trophy. Trophy. It always easy to get the little metal thing in. So one two seven to one two eight. Okay, no improvements. This is really. I mean, I can't really do much with this property to be honest with you without scrapping it completely. Ninety four. We're just gonna have to roll with it. Let's just get somebody renting this place. So he's exceptional already. So I negotiate with this dude. Make offer. Make offer. We can get sunk a little bit more out of them. Over six grand will be good. On oh, last one. Oh, so close, but I'll take it. I'll take it. Right, a couple of messages coming in. All right, it's the uh, the review stuff. And then the final property we can look at now is the lake. My arch nemesis. Truly is my arch nemesis, this one. Will it allow me to place a, um, a bed? Of course not. <laughs> Why do I even bother? Right. So, hang on. What was this property beforehand? 77. Wow, this is the worst one we pretty much own, isn't it? So bedroom then, um, tough one because we need a big plant and I don't think we can potentially squeeze in a, a large plant in here. Big plants are over here, aren't they? I oh, went for this one because they've got to get in in and out of bed. Oh no, that actually goes in. So 103 to 109. Kitchens 104. This room here 109. 157. 180. So this room here, which is a waiting room, motivational poster. Let me kind of get rid of that one. So motivational poster right there. Wall plant, small plant. Okay, where's a small plant? Squeeze you under there. Squeeze you there. <laughs> Uh, trophy hanging up. Uh, a normal poster by the looks of it. So if, from 109 to 123. Okay, a wall lamp. A cl is it, Would it count as a clock going in here? Oh, it's now become a sports room. Okay, that's really weird. That's really weird. I think it's the motivational posters that kind of kind of slightly change things up. Right, where does that put this property in general now? 79. It doesn't really improve it much, but I feel like I'm fighting a losing battle by having this as a little um, workshop. There's not really much I can do about that, to be honest with you. Um, have a problem. Sending a pro. Man, that was expensive. 
But he's like, whoa, it's good. She's like, whoa, good. And this person here is like, no, it's terrible. Right, come on, somebody have an opinion. She's like, good. He's like, exceptional. She's like, exceptional. But she's a gamer, I'll go for her over the alcoholic. So, make offer. Make offer. Make offer. Oh, she's gonna answer good. Right, last offer. She's gone down dramatically. Fine, he's exceptional, so we have to negotiate with this dude. I don't really want to, but beggars can't be choosers. Yeah. Alright, how far can we get him? Mm, she's, he's gone less than her. <sighs> I negotiated one too many, basically. Alright, where is she? I'll accept. <clears throat> I'll accept it. Now I've got money coming in. So all my properties right now should be rented out. No vacancies anywhere, which brings me a grand total of nearly 26,000 in income every month. Not bad, Siniak, not bad. Right, now let's get back to business, boys. Let's get back to business. So jobs, we'll do next there, this new bathroom. Yeah, I'll go for the new bathroom. It sounds pretty simple, pretty easy begin the renovations it's quite a small little room isn't it so very very basic shower cabin will go really really expensive how much they, what's their budget two thousand uh, a toilet squeezing just there toilet paper there we go so we'll do some nice tiles Oh my goodness me, I've just spent a fortune. And now we need to sell the toilet. I'm so sorry, guys. Because I can't afford floor. <laughs> uh, tiles. Two tiles. Now, a wall clock and a plaid. I can't believe what I've just done. Uh, I can't believe what I've just done. Right, a wall clock. There we go. And a wall plant. Spin just there. Will it go there? Okay. And deliver the job. So that's maximizing that, which is pretty good. So if I now fast forward then to get the review on this job. Hopefully it turns out pretty well. So I got a five star on that last one. Five star in the finding a tenant. All good stuff. Maximum progression. So does that still does not unlock the requirements. So I got the bonus. Is it because I use cheap furniture, do you reckon? Not only is it sent sure. But Oh, is that, is that house of... Oh, Jesus. I am about to say, is this house going to become, become available? I think that was always available, wasn't it? Yeah. Um, find someone from my apartment. Regular family... Ap Ooh, I like, I like the look of this one. Definitely like the look of this one right now. A full-on apartment. Uh, they got a, a budget of 13000 so you know we're not doing a lot in this. You know we're not doing a lot in this right now. So again, let's get rid of that bed. <clears throat> I could have salvaged it, but we'll start from scratch. So it's an apartment. Is it three bedrooms of an apartment or, or what? <clears throat> so bathroom, bedroom, bedroom, kitchen. <clears throat> As I choke on my own words. We'll start with the two bedrooms then. So one wants gray walls. One wants red walls. One wants grey carpets, the other wants... Oh, we can do grey carpets in both. So, double bed in the one. How much have I got? Okay, sweet. So, double bed in this one. This one wants a bunk bed. Um, They want a TV in this. DVD player. Okay, so can I get like a... um? 
Can I squeeze a TV on top of that? Oh, I could if it was this, but they also want a, a DVD player. DVD player. Okay, what if I gave this bedroom the big boy TV? Throw some DVDs on the floor, because, you know, they're too lazy to stack them. And a nice little painting. Bedroom complete. So this one wants a desk. Chair. And a picture. Done. Oh. I might have blown my budget straight away. Right, fridge. We'll do it here. Refrigerator in just here. <clears throat> the kitchen sink. We'll go we'll go cheap on the kitchen. The cooker. Kitchen cabinet. Motivational poster. Hardwood floors. Yellow walls. And then the bathroom. So let me get these done first. Oh, I like that green. We can it's a green it's like a green screen, isn't it? We'll get the basics done in the bathroom here, so then everything else right now is just pure budget. Alright, over there. Do they want a shower? No. Right, washing machine. Bathroom sink. Laundry basket. I'm going to regret some of this stuff that I'm choosing. Toilet. Alright, there we go. Toilet brush. Paper. Plunger. That is... Oh, towel rack. It's actually quite a nice little bathroom we created. So then preferred furniture, a fan... <clears throat> Which uh, I'll squeeze just over here. And a chest board. Chest board is just here. And there's all the preferred stuff. So, some of the stuff is missing out. Oh, I, sh I didn't mean to press deliver job. I pressed that on accident. I was going to spend the remaining budget on some decorations for the bedroom our current reviewer is in right now. Right, we got a text message. Um... Uh, Wondersville documentary. I don't know why. I don't know why. Just enjoy it. Well, let's see the review for this. I don't think this is going to be very good. <clears throat> Although, I did see Love Hearts coming out of that then. So, yeah. Intriguing. Intriguing. Right, so we got 39,000 in the bank then. So after doing a few little jobs here and there, uh, we're pretty much where we started. And we've been able to renovate a few of the properties as well. So that's pretty good. That's pretty good. Is there a way that we can find out the happiness? Oh. So yeah, reach tenant happiness at the end of the lease. Is this all tenants or is, just, is it just like one tenant? That's what we need to know. Pizza. Okay. Pizza. Uh, right, so, create a new bathroom. We've done that before many times. Create a new bathroom. We've done that many times before. Um, <clears throat> right, we'll do you and you next. We'll take on board of these. And over here, then, they're looking for someone between 19 and 54. So, you fit the bill. You fit the bill. You okay? These all fit the bill. This is whoever comes down to liking the property more. Some noisy tenants. Cut them some slack. I'm trying to be on good terms with my tenants right now. <coughs> right. Fine. 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 Right. Ask to leave. Get some new people in. These people are not fitting. Or I'm not feeling them. Oh, is it two occupants? Oh, it's two. So what are you going to say? 
Okay, she's she she showed some type of interest. Oh, this person did as well. Right, negotiate. Bam. Bam. Accept. All right. You good? Negotiate. Make offer. There we go. Done. Get out of my faces. Oh, someone over there needs... That's the person we're um, babysitting, right? They're yet, to phone... They're, they're yet to phone me to kind of sort this problem out. Oh, she ain't happy. She ain't happy with who I've got in this building. She was not happy. In the slightest. Whoopsie. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Easy, easy, boy. What, is she going for a swim? Like, I can't fix it until, you, like, you low-key tap. What is she doing? Can you, um... Finally, she's going to phone me. Is she going to phone me? No, she's cooking dinner. What is going on with this woman? Like, seriously? <laughs> oh, she's hilarious. She is legit hilarious. I don't know. I don't know what's going on. Is she now going to phone me? No, now she's playing on a VR machine. Either way, we've unlocked the requirements for this house, by the way. 201,000. So we're slowly getting there. Slowly unlocking stuff that we'll be able to buy in the future. GG. G to the G. So it's just a case of, like, saving up money, isn't it? Like, is, where's that property that was, like, really, really cheap? Because I've almost borderline got half the money. Just saying, boys. Just saying. There you. Look at that. 119,000. You want that, really, don't you? That's what we want. Right, what have we got available next, then? Because all this stuff's been pushed in the right direction. Or shall we switch over to the slums? Let's switch over to here because the jobs pay more money. Now, if we can get like 120,000 in the bank, which is really easy to do in the slums, then obviously we're going to be able to afford a cheap property like that and then make more money in the long run. We're knocking on the door for making 30,000 a month. That's kind of like literally what we're doing, but it's all about playing that waiting game. And hopefully we can get that at the end of a tenancy. Uh, someone's happiness is at 80%. Again, it's a tough one. But if anybody could do it, your boy could do it. Your boy can do it. So there is a job in the slums, which, you know what? I'm going to cancel it. Just because I didn't know what was happening over there right now. Had no freaking idea. That's, a, that's not far from being affordable as well. Loving the fact that they've dropped the prices. Anyway, jobs. <laughs> so we never I mean, I never do finding a tenant in, in the suburbs. So we'll get that done. And we'll also do a nice beautiful little garden makeover. So we'll go and do this one first then. Oh, I shouldn't have done both of these because they've both got time scales, but we'll do this one first. Um so 39 to 58, that's literally all it is. All right, fine, pay me next week. I'm trying to keep you happy. So it's just a case of now waiting for someone to have an opinion. Nope. Okay. She likes it to a certain extent. He's unsatisfied, so I'm asking him to leave.
They're just standing there like zombies. It's hilarious. He's like, yeah. Ooh, she likes it to a certain... She likes it on a good level. So if I negotiate to begin with... I'll accept that deal. Get over to this property right now. And what did they want me to do over here, by the way? Looks like one of your leases. Yep, do it. Uh, oh, load of stuff outside. Okay, so... Right, trees. How much have I got? 9,000. Okay, so we'll go for some nice big beauties. That handles all the trees. Shrubs. The most expensive shrubs. The most expensive planter. Some garden decoration. Right, hold on, let me get some sunbeds up. So you can chill looking at the sun. Oh, is that planting I get class as well? Or is there a, oh no, there's a secondary planter. <gasps> Swimming pool. Yes, boys, go for an expensive one. So it's now just garden decoration. We've got three and a half grand. What they're saying about the garden right now, it's already looking pretty damn dope. They're loving it. So garden decoration. Trampoline. That's always important. And then a statue. Nice. Deliver. We got an extension. Not bad. So fast forward them. Get that done. They're both done then. So that one's in review. Now all complete. We'll wait to see what this tenant... Well, the, the review says about this. It should be pretty, like, pretty good. Let me check what that last one said. So in reviews. Better be a five... Yes, it was. We got a one star because I cancelled that last one. But five star, star there. Nice. Oh, what are you thinking, boy? I mean, lady. <laughs> I don't think this is going to be a five star. I just have that feeling. I didn't really put my heart and soul into it. Um, Four star, unfortunately. Did not unlock it. Damn. Damn, Sadiac! But I got 70 grand, though. That's good. That's always good. Right, please, let me... There we go. Press the button. Um, So, movement shop. Again, I'm looking at stuff. That's good money. But also, jobs that I don't normally do is very important. Like finding tenants. So, no criminal history. No barmen. Preferences, 36 to 53. So, waiter, you fall within the category. Cashier, you're too young. Has to leave. All right, sending a pro. You, a gamer, fall in the category. So we're looking for a. Uh, we're looking at background check. Background check. No criminal history on both of these guys. So someone, someone had an opinion yet? He's on good. He's un unsatisfying. What's he going to say here? Does he like a tree? I mean, he's on good. So we could probably play around with this. So make an offer. 16 grand? I forgot this is like a huge mansion. Right. Sure, we can get a fair price. We'll go with that. Right. That's got to be good, right? I mean, you gotta, they've got to accept that. This is a really big property. Could you imagine making this into like a 20 person multiple occupancy? Could you legit imagine? You'd go crazy, wouldn't you? Right, is he about to go? Yeah. So, haven't unlocked the requirements just yet. That's got to be a five star, right? That was a, a top quality person. Yes. And we got a bonus. Nothing more I could do for that. So, it should technically unlock it, but you never know. You never know in this game. But. 
with the recent changes and updates to the game right now, it makes it more easier for us to be able to afford uh, to buy a new property. Now, in the bank, we do have a little bit of a loan left to pay off, but we'll let that run. Um, we are currently making uh, nearly 26000 a month, which is pretty good. So in four months, we've got like a hundred grand. Keeping the momentum rocking and rolling. So the question is, do I buy the $100,000 property in the slums? Or the $200,000 property in the suburbs. I mean, we'll eventually buy both. But which one are we working towards first, guys? Let me know in the comment section down below. But until next time, I'll see you all soon. So good. Bye.